Hi everybody, this is Joe and I'm doing the question of the week. And this week I'm going to take on a math problem. Oh, I know, math. I hate it too. Don't worry. It's horrible. I know. But we got to do it. People are asking about it and I got this question, so I want to break it down. So for this, you may want a pen and paper if you are watching this, so you can jot this down and let's go. Dun -dun -dun -dun. A buyer wants to purchase a home for $160,000 with a 15% down payment. The lender charges two points. How much does the buyer need up front to make the purchase? God, I just got a headache reading it. I read this like 10 times at first. And I went and took a nap. Okay, so the buyer wants to purchase the home for $160,000 with a 15% down payment. So basically, the lender is lending that buyer 85% of the value of the home. So first, you need to answer, okay, how much is 85% of $160,000? I'll explain why. So as you're doing that, 85% of $160,000, do, 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 do the math, I already did the math, is $136,000. Okay, that is $136,000. Why is that important? Because a point is a percentage of the loan amount. A point is a percentage of a loan amount. Okay, and they're lending you two points. Everybody with me so far? So, the value of the home is $160,000. They're lending you 85% of that, which is $136,000. And they're charging you two points. So one point would be $1,360. So two points would be $2,720. That's two points. That's 2% of $136,000. Everybody with me so far? Hopefully you're with me. So right now, right off the bat, you know you're going to have to pay the lender $2,720. That's two points of the amount they're lending you, the 85% of $160,000. But you're not done. It says, how much money do you have to come up with? So they're lending you 85% of the $160,000. So you still need to come up with 15% of the $160,000. 15% of $160,000 is $24,000. Is $24,000. Everybody got that? So, you'd have to come up with $24,000 plus the two points, which is $2,720, for a grand total, and the answer is $26,720. $26,720. What that is, just to review, is the amount of your down payment, the 15% of $160,000, plus the two points you got to pay the lender, which is based upon the loan amount, which is 85% of $160,000. Okay? Just to review really quickly, $160,000 is the price of the property. They're lending you 85%. 85% of $160,000 is $136,000. They're charging you two points based upon that $136,000, which equals $2,720. You have to come up with 15% of the property value as a down payment, which is $24,000. $24,000 plus the 2,720 equals 26,720. Woof, seemed like a lot, right? Well, there's a little math problem for you guys in our questions of the week series. Um, let me move on to another quick question I got for everybody. What is a selling broker versus a listing broker? This confuses people a lot. I just wanna clarify this before I move on to anything. The selling broker very often is shows up on your exam, shows up with contracts. The selling broker is the one representing the buyer. They think seller selling the house. I get it. It gets confusing. Okay. The selling broker is the one representing the buyer. 
The one representing the seller is the listing broker, is the listing broker. Everybody got that? You got to think theoretically, everybody's selling the house because they're all working under that one listing contract. A seller brings on a broker, they pay him a commission, let's just say 5%, just for example. The broker splits that commission with a broker who brings a buyer. You could say a broker who represents the buyer is also helping sell the property. They're working under that contract. So they're the selling broker, but they're not the listing broker. So very often you have the listing broker and the selling broker. That's why on the contract, you very often don't see buying broker. You see listing broker and selling broker. I know that confuses a lot of people, so I wanted to clarify that. I hope that helps. Well, that math took up a lot of energy. So that is the questions of the week for today. I hope that helped everybody. This is Joe from Prep Agent, and I'll see you at the webinar. Bye.